Hi, Gemini. This is Moon Pie doing your spiritual love messages. It's a timeless reading, so whenever you need or would like to listen to this, you can also share it, pass it along for anyone who may need to hear certain things, but I've already placed your cards, so we'll get started. Your first card is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it says the stirring within your heart represents the song of romance calling to you. This card comes to you as guidance to follow the pathway of those feelings. Perhaps you've met someone who made your heart leap and you wondered whether to pursue him or her. This card says that the answer is yes. Take action by flirting, asking the person out on a date, or making your feelings known. If you've recently been longing simply for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making that happen. You can romance yourself by, for example, treating yourself to a luxurious massage or pedicure, buying yourself presents, or watching a romantic movie. Now, if you're a male, obviously, this could just be going out with the guys, playing some sports, um, if you're into that, or doing your guy stuff. Um, <laughs> or if you'd like to take yourself out on a candlelight dinner, go for it, whatever works for you. Um, or go see like a cool movie, or, or well, we can't really, but just doing stuff for yourself that you would do with your partner, but you're single uh, and you're male. You can also actively pursue and attract romance. First, affirm that it is already inside of you. A partner definitely brings these feelings to the surface. However, they were within you as a potential initially. The more you affirm, I, rom I am romantically loved, the more you attract this condition within yourself and through a relationship. In some cases, you'll receive this card as a signal that you are ready for a new relationship. It then guides you to take actions, such as being aware of people you meet who may be potential partners, as well as frequenting places where such potential partners may be. These would be locations or events associated with your hobbies and interests. And it doesn't have to be um, attending things physically, right? Um, there's really, at the time of this reading, not much that can obviously be done except going to the park and maybe you'll bump into someone there. But um, this could be really much of the socialization we have is through work or um, online, okay? So wherever that might be. You also have beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So that's kind of compli complicated. Um, but it's basically saying um, the qualities that we admire in someone are the qualities we also possess. But the qualities we don't like are also the qualities we possess. So there's a mirroring happening here. Um, and so the message here I feel with this card is, you know, you could really learn a, a lot about yourself by the person you interact with. And I think we all know that. Um, but there, the message is really to beware of what you are projecting, okay? Um, if you are in a relationship with someone or uh, it's a friendship or, you know, the things that we get annoyed at in other people are uh, most of the time there was this old saying where for every finger you point, you've got three pointing back at you. So there's an energy of like self-effacing, self-awareness, okay? Um, <laughs> you also have meditate, okay? So I don't know if all of you are into meditation, but meditation is also prayer. Uh, so it really just depends on your situation. This card is a call for you to meditate regularly. Your path, body, and soul are asking for quiet time to reflect, think, and receive insight. Even a small amount of time devoted to daily meditation or prayer will bring you great gifts. You don't necessarily need any formal training in meditation. It's simply a matter of sitting quietly, closing your eyes, breathing, and listening. So additional meanings for this card, be still and listen. Or you need some alone time. Be honest with yourself. Join a meditation group or take a class or listen to a CD. Uh, it's all about focusing the mind. Um, and there might be something going on here. Well, Geminis, we know that you have a tendency to be um, in three different places at once, which is a gift that you have. Not everyone can manage that. Um, but sometimes 
you need to break away from them thing those things and um, focus on only one thing and that's part of your balancing yourself okay because you're really the only sign in the zodiac that can um, multitask like a pro and um, because you have the ability to just pull information in so fast and deliver it right back out so quick you can handle a lot of things but at times that can make you have you too scattered can make your energy a bit too scattered so you need to pull it back in and uh, just do a little meditation where you are practicing focusing on only one thing for a certain amount of time it could be uh, and there's different ways I explain that you can do that whether you're just looking at something or you have something in your mind's eye or you're listening to a particular thing or studying or whatever it might be drawing yourself right back to this thing when you get distracted you also have courage so there's a message here for you with courage that this card is reminding you that you do have the courage to make this particular change um, or a change. Everything you've been through in life has taught you how to cope and be strong in the face of the unknown. You've learned that being positive and having faith are necessary tools to overcome fear or disappointments. And again, this is bringing me back to the mirroring and things that you are frustrated with with another person or things about yourself you don't like that maybe you would like to change but you don't know how. Okay. Um, take the take change one minute at a time and try not to look too far down the road especially if attempting to predict the future brings up anxiety for you after all you can plan for the future but you can only take charge of the present moment so take positive action steps today towards your desired outcome and know that you will have everything you need in each moment that follows the other meanings for this card represent facing your fears stepping into a leadership position breaking out of your comfort zone and assertiveness. All right, Gemini, so those were your spiritual messages. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.